Hello there, Math 202, Sections 2 and 3. This is Professor Talbert, and this is a quick screencast to go over the logistics and structure and so forth for Test 2, which is coming up on Thursday of this week. Uh, first of all, what is the coverage for this test here? Uh, just a small slice of material here, pardon the pun. We're going to start with 7.5, which is on interval approximation techniques, uh, specifically the left, right, midpoint trapezoid rule. In 7.6, we did not do the entire section, but we did pull out Simpson's rule and included that in our coverage, and we talked about error, uh, especially in the workshop. In 7.7, we spent a couple of days talking about improper integrals. In 8.1, moving into the applications uh, chapter, we did area and we did volume, and the uh, introducing the all-important idea of slicing and the method of slicing. Uh, in 8.2, we did volume to resolution and arc length. 8.4 was where we talked about density and center of mass. And finally, in 8.5, we talked about work. If you want, that's the general overview of the coverage. If you're looking for a specific list of learning objectives, I have just the thing for you. If you go to Blackboard on your site now, this shows uh, section three, but it's on section two as well. Go to the course documents area, and at the very bottom, you will see a new uh, page there that's specific learning objectives covered on test two. And if you click on that, you're going to eventually see two things. Uh, one is a list of sort of overarching objectives the, the general idea of what I am trying to assess with test two and what you should be able to do. And then the, uh, the detailed, finely grained uh, learning topics and objectives, uh, the stuff that you really must be able to know how to do on a point by point basis is broken down by section uh, in that page there. So uh, to get an overview, I think the first place you should go after viewing the screencast is on the Blackboard and take a look at that particular document. Uh, later on, once the screencast is posted to the web, I will be putting it up uh, on an announcement and I will contain a link to uh, that, uh, that document right there. That should tell you everything that you must need to know how to do uh, when you come into your test and exactly what I'm getting at with this test when we, uh, when we get to it. Okay, uh, I'm still working on the test itself, but this is the general idea of how I think about structuring it. Uh, this may, the mileage may vary once uh, I start actually putting my fingers to the keyboard, but here's how, here's what I'm thinking at least. Uh, there's going to be another, we're going to start again, like test one, with a multiple choice section to cover general concepts. These will be similar to uh, your quicker questions you've seen in class. We haven't seen a lot of those uh, lately, but uh, you can maybe invent some that would go with uh, some of the more recent material. So 10 of those at two points apiece for 20 points. Uh, next, I'm the, I, would also, I will also be, um, or planning at least, on giving you a choice of approximation calculations where you're given a choice of integrals, pick one, and then pick a couple of approximation techniques and uh, calculate the approximation on, from each technique. Uh, so you get some choice here. Uh, you need to, know, need to know how to handle all five of those approximation techniques, but uh, you'll be given a choice as to which integral you want to do and which approximation technique you want to invoke. I'm also going to be asking you on each of these to discuss your error. Um, error being defined as the difference between the exact value of an integral and the approximate value. Uh, for example, uh, discuss whether your approximation is an overestimate or an underestimate and how you know such things. That's what I mean by discuss error. Uh, I will also have, uh, you will also have a section where you have some improper integrals and just a you know, fairly uh, straightforward application. So you're choosing, uh, 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 taking an improper integral and determining whether it converges or diverges. As you know, there are several ways those could look. Uh, you'll get a choice of which ones you want to do. I'll also be uh, giving you a choice of volume problems you'd like to do. Some of them are by slicing, well all of them, all volumes are by slicing as we know, but some uh, the, they have irregular shapes and you, do, you uh, find them by slicing. Some will be volumes of revolution. Um, and these kinds of problems, I'll give you a choice of which volumes you want to calculate, but I'm actually not going to ask you to calculate them. I'm going to ask you to set up the integral for the volume and explain all your steps in setting that up and then discuss the computation. We've done this in class a couple of times in the last few days where we'll set up an integral and I'll say, let's not calculate the integral, but you tell me how you would go about calculating it. Would you use a substitution? Would you use parts? Is this, is this an improper integral that we should be looking at? Is the integral actually not even possible to calculate with the tools that we have? That's what I mean by discuss the computation. Uh, you're actually not going to be asked to calculate very many integrals on this, this uh, test, believe it or not. Just uh, the integrals for uh, just an improper integral. Uh, for most of these other ones, I'm going to have you just set up the integral, because that's the hard part, and uh, then talk about how you would evaluate the integral moving forward. 
there'll be a choice of applications from the uh, arc length, uh, besides volume, that would be arc length, density, center of mass, uh, uh, work problems, those kinds of things. Where similarly, I will ask you to set up the integral for, that shouldn't say volume, set up the integral for whatever it is uh, you're trying to calculate, and then discuss the computation. Again, not necessarily to compute the integral that you set up, but discuss how you would compute it and give me some intelligent strategy on that. Finally, there's going to be another reflection review piece on Blackboard uh, that you'll do outside of class. And if you do the math on this, uh, of course, this doesn't add up to 100 points. Uh, that's because this is an approximate structure, and I'm not, I'm, I might shift some points here and there or combine things. It'll obviously come out to be 100 points at the end. I just want to give you a sense of the relative size of each of these uh, uh, sections that I'm thinking about. So what should you bring into the classroom? Well, first of all, you pretty well guessed that this time you really must, must bring your calculator because this is how you're going to do approximations. Um, we are going to be in the lab since it's on a Thursday, uh, but the computers will be off limits. I will ask you to keep those uh, uh, powered down throughout the uh, test. So you do need to bring a calculator, okay? Uh, cell phone calculators will not be allowed because the security risk those pose. Uh, iPod touches, that kind of thing, no. You need an actual non-Wi-Fi connected calculator uh, when you come in. If that's an issue for you or if you need a calculator, uh, you need to let me know beforehand. I will not have any on hand when we come into class. So you will definitely bring a calculator, bring some extra batteries or go buy a solar calculator or something uh, so that you have something to work with uh, machine-wise when you get in. You need to bring something to write with. Again, I will be uh, giving plenty of extra paper on the test for you to uh, have plenty of space to spread out your calculations. No need to bring extra paper. Um, you may make up a brand new 3x5 note card for this test uh, that uh, you can imagine what should go on it. Uh, you know, formulas for the different approximation techniques, uh, you know, some of the rules from proper integrals, uh, L'Hopital's rule if you've forgotten how to use that, for example, that might be a good thing uh, to put on there. It's up to you. There's no restrictions on what goes on here or not. Use the front and the back and knock yourself out. And in fact, I'll even let you bring in the old 3x5 note card you used on test one. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to really be a great help to you on this test because it's kind of different material. Uh, but you know, you might forget the integration by parts formula, so that I figured there's no reason not to bring in the old one as well. So you'll be allowed to use the new 3x5 three, three note card and the old 3x5 note card um, when you come in. To prepare for this, um, you know, just remember what a test is for. Uh, the test here is not so you can score little points, it's uh, to show me what you know. And the whole point here is you're going, I am assessing uh, your mastery of uh, the important learning objectives that I've spelled out in that document on Blackboard. And your, your work is designed to show me that you have satisfied these objectives, and that's all it really is for. Uh, so to prepare, uh, you just need to rehearse working those kinds of problems that would show me that you have met the learning objectives. Okay, if you, it says uh, determine whether an improper integral is convergent or divergent, uh, you should go and work enough of those problems out of the book uh, or find some more by Googling or just asking me for some such that uh, you know you will effectively show that you know how to do such a thing. Uh, remember when you come into the test, don't leave anything blank, okay? Uh, there are some, there are a few, for example, some people left the mul some multiple choice questions blank on the last one. Uh, just circle something at random if that's the case. If you're not really sure, you know, just, just make a guess. Uh, but you'll always be able to you know, spell out your thought process on this test and you will get pretty significant partial credits. So some of you guys found that out. Uh, that. That, that really pays off on the last test. So make sure that you come prepared to show what you know. Uh, as you're working through these problems, ask questions in office hours and through email. And uh, it's often really helpful to tap into some other resources like Khan Academy out there on the web. I've given you some links to Khan Academy's website uh, over the last few uh, weeks for workshops. But then it has a pretty good repository of uh, videos, excuse me, video tutorials for volumes of revolution and so forth. So, uh, you know, make good use of that. There's really good stuff out there. That's all I've got for you as far as preparation goes. Uh, just remember, you know, you're coming to show what you know, and I'm giving you the list of learning objectives so that you'll know where to target, you know, what you're going to do when you come in on Thursday. If you have questions or any sort of concerns, please let me know about that, and I stand ready to help you in anything you need. Thanks a lot.